coincidence. So uh, Riza and his uh, bottle of mineral water, me and Damien are here in Damien Sanctum Centaurum, right? Get your gloves, we right? are about to do the thing. So we have the mandatory white gloves, right? Riza, we just hold that for just one second as I don the glove, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. So you gotta get your glove in, right? Gotta get your, get, your <laughs> <laughs> get your glove on. Get your glove on. You gotta get your glove on. Right. Okay. Now we look see. fancy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, no, we're getting this being serious. Right. Okay. Now, the reason for this is because we just cracked the Nando's. I had the very, very hot one. Right. So, yeah. I had the very, very hot one. Very spicy. And nothing happened to me. I didn't cry or anything. Don't believe what anyone tells you. Right. <laughs> Don't believe what anyone tells you because I'm gangster. I can handle hot food. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so I have this. Right. Ah, uh, yes, okay. It's a classic Stanley 399. I'm just mentioning that because I want to seem fancy. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to practice gloves. That's the best thing. Is it on already? Oh, okay, okay. So everyone saw me doing this. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so here we are. Yeah. You got to start off with the thing. Yeah. <clears throat> Hey, what's up, you guys? Here we are in Damien's Sanctum Sanctorum. Right, so I've um, <laughs> okay. So here we are, Damien's Sanctum Sanctorum. I have been issued the mandatory pair of white gloves, right? So which means that I am now kitted out and ready to unbox this amazing piece, right? And this is a one-third scale statue by 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 Pop Culture Shock. It is a Mortal Kombat classic reptile figure, right? So very, very excited by I've never seen one of these in real life before. And it is a ridiculously limited piece. How many in the world, Damien? Uh, I don't know. 350, I think. They're about, right? So yeah, we'll right, see right. just now in the opening now. Right? So, uh, <laughs> there, should, there should be a new pair of gloves in here. That you, oh, you can right. take that's up. awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. Right, okay. So come to Damien's house, get free dingers. It's all about the dingers. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Can we just pick it up here? Yeah. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Is it? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> right. Okay. So, so uh, I'm gonna pack them away somewhere safe. For yeah. the winter, right. Okay. So here we have it. So we have. Statue number 309 of 350, right? Now, this is the classic look of Reptile. Ah, wow. If memory serves, Reptile debuted in the second Mortal Kombat game. Not so? Yeah. Yeah, in the second Mortal Kombat game. So we're taking it all the way back. Let's see what we got of here, right? So, wow. So it has these straps a little bit. How heavy is it? Does it feel heavy? Nah. Okay, so let's see. Oh, you are. I'm just so impressed by the work, with, well, not the workmanship, but just the attention to detail in the packaging alone. Because it has these packing straps and everything. I've never seen anything like this in a packaging before. Oh, you do. Okay. So the others come like this as well. So you no, might say, this, this is new. You might say that this actually comes with a built in strap on. What? <laughs> oh, that, okay. <laughs> you should use it if you need it. Okay. So. Oh wow. Okay. So this is the base. It has a very heavy base. So that's wow. Okay. So that's heavy. As you can see, once again, number three or nine or three hundred fifty. That's it. Wow. That is very, 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 very detailed. Now, if I remember correctly, Reptile's home stage in the game was in that dungeon with the river of sludge and acid and whatnot. Yes, Am I right? Yeah. So you can see it simulated that. You can already see from the foot imprint there that this is going to be a massive, massive, massive statue, right? Over here on the front, you can see that it has some interesting detail over here as well. This sculpt, this eye, it is wow. So we are about to liberate the statue from the box, right? And what you will notice is that it comes with, I can count one, two, three different heads, right? So we're gonna talk more about those in just a moment. One, two, three, four, five pairs of hands. Wow, that's a lot. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. 
Okay, so yo, <laughs> that is Wait, on point. I, I have very large hands, as you can see. This is the size. It is massive. It is a massive, massive, massive figure. Ridiculously detailed. So this is. I think his, if memory serves, his fatality head. So at the end, when he does that uh, that thing where he bites off a person's head. This is the head you see over there. Ridiculously detailed. As you can see, each tooth individually sculpted, individually painted. Brilliant. That sort of attention to detail cascades itself throughout the rest of the head sculpt. As you can see, individual scars, individual scales, shading in between, some yes, highlights as well. Oh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And this is just one of the three included heads. Is a skull. We're in the, I don't recall him having a skull in the game. So this is to match the scorpion and sub zero if if you ever want to use the skull. Just brilliant. I'm I'm just I'm just flawed. I'm simply flawed. Uh, the attention to detail is impeccable. Immaculate. Brilliant. A triumph. That's what this is. Now, interestingly enough, in case you don't remember, uh, so when Mortal Kombat came out, there were two basic ninjas, there was Scorpion, there was Sub-Zero, and then when the second game came out, they added Reptile, if memory serves, together with a couple of the other ninjas, not so? Yeah. Yeah, so there yeah. was Green, there was Smoke, Ermac, Noob, Smoke, Noob, Cybot, all of them, right? And they were essentially just color swaps of that basic palette, right? So Scorpion was the original one, and all the other ninjas were uh, palette swaps. And as years went by, they individualized the different, uh, the different characters. Oh, 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 is it mixed media? Yes. Now this is a mixed media statue. So what that means is it has sculpted details, but it also has other uh, other elements on it which are material. So in this case over here, you find that the mask, right, the mask, together with the face mask, right, that's all material. It looks very, 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 very nice. Oh, a sick amount of detail on the face sculpt itself. Brilliant. You can see the resemblance is striking. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's get this thing out. Let's get the bad boy out. Yeah, you, the head. you can take the big boy out. Take the statue out. Right. Yes. So, as is always the case, you want to exercise caution. You want to be very, very careful. Right. Try to grab the statue in an area where there is a lot of, like, let's call it meat to hold on to. You never ever unbox a statue by holding any of the extremities. Never by the hands. Never by legs. Grab it by the body. Right. Yo, this is a heavy. Big boy, one third scale, ridiculously large, excellent. So, what I really like about pop culture shock, and you see this with some of the other statues as well, they pay a fair amount of attention to detail, but also the safety of the statue. So, as you can see over here, it has a pin in the leg, but the pin is quite thick. It's quite thick and it goes in quite deep as well. So, we're just going to hold the statue very, very carefully as we release it from the packaging, the costume itself. Wow made out of material as well. This is just amazing. This is just phenomenal. So I'm going to pop it. I'm going to pop it here onto the base. Then we're gonna do a, a cut over here. Yeah. Alrighty then so now we have the statue fully assembled and from the top going down it is spectacular spectacular words escape me the statue defies description but i'm going to try in any event so from the bottom going up as you can see the super highly detailed base and uh, which lights up i might add it does come with a european plug included so you just want to get yourself an adapter if you're out here in south africa coming from the bottom you can see there are sculpted elements here on the shin guards and as you start to pan up over here you will notice that the pants and the bulk of the costume are in fact material so in other words it is a fabric those are the mixed media elements now i want to pan over over here to the hands themselves as you can see a ridiculous amount of detail over there got the slime the ooze just looks brilliant i might add that there are magnets here so there are magnets here both in the uh, in the arm socket together with um, the, the wrist area as well so that plugs in there very very nice it's quite secure 
as you can see some nice sculpted details over there with the veins you can see some subtle shading over there and subtle coloring so it looks green so as you know from the game reptile has green blood so i like the way they did that there is some blood splatter all throughout the statue looks amazing brilliant coming out to the head sculpt as you can see a ridiculous amount of detail over there in the sculpt the eyes are shaded they are highlighted looks very 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 lifelike so coming over here to the other side you see the same thing on the other arm oh, lovely so we're going to turn the statue around and as we turn the statue around you will notice that on the back you see some lovely quilted detail over here on the back of the statue itself looks amazing i would have to say that this here is possibly the quintessential version of reptile so for any mortal combat fans here's where you want to be this is what you want to get yourself it looks amazing in terms of things to watch out for well as you can see there are a series of small parts that need to be well small being a relative term with this scale but there are a series of parts that the statue does require some assembly so you want to make sure that you keep all your accessories stashed away safely in addition to that while assembling you want to watch out for damaging any parts as well everything plugs in quite nicely you don't need a lot of effort to actually get in and assemble and you really shouldn't have a problem at all the statue is made out of um, polystone so it's fairly solid fairly strong it shouldn't have any issues but try not to tip it over so as is always the case with reviews of this nature we will consider the two essential elements that of course being the aesthetics and the age factor now when we talk about aesthetics we refer to the overall visual appeal of the piece and as you can see this statue looks amazing just like everything else in this man's phenomenal collection which you will see featured in another video on this channel. But coming back to this statue, aesthetically, I would have to say on point. As you know, the statue has a series of different heads, which allows you to display the statue in different forms that you see in the game and in the extended universe media. And now we turn our attention to the age factor. So when we talk about age factor, we are assessing the degree to which a figure makes one go ish with excitement or ish with disappointment. We must understand that when it comes to this statue here, the stakes are quite high because of all the other stuff that it will be displayed alongside. So the question is, when you look at this statue, what says wow to you? Well, the first thing you need to know is that it is a ridiculously limited piece, 350 in the whole world, and it has a ridiculous amount of detail. The execution in the mix media elements that it's also on point i like the way they were able to actually blend the two elements together normally what you find with mixed media statues is that there's a glaring disparity between the two but the manufacturers in this case over here were able to blend them in quite nicely the statue looks very very realistic i would have to say that it elicits a resounding ish and i have no hesitations with recommending it assemble right what pops to mind need others i <laughs> need sub zero and scorpion Yes, this is very nice. Big. So, does it get a space in the collection or does it get relegated? <laughs> um, I'm sure it'll stay here for now, but... Uh, yeah, that should stay here for now. It's very nice. Wow. Okay, just stay there. 